uh, in the UEAP now. Let's talk about FEU a little bit and take a look at their last game against uh, the UE Junior Warriors where they really had a good showing against that UE squad and put a full display on there. Well, the Baby Tamaros got jumped on the Junior Warriors with a 17-6 opening period. UE eventually found this offense but faced an uphill climb for the rest of the way. And, I mean, in all aspects of the game, FEU really outplayed UE. Well, you can attribute a lot of those aspects to DJ Bray, who has continued to shine here in Season 86. He's shown a lot of promise even in Season 85 in that championship run with FEU. But here in Season 86, it just seems like he's stepped it up a notch here, Renzo. And so far right now, Prez been the go-to guy for, for the team. And he's averaging 12 points, 10 rebounds, and one... 1.67 blocks a game, and just a big help for uh, FEU. Well, that last game, speaking true to his season averages, a double-double for VJ Pre in that last out. And now, let's talk about Adamson a little bit here. They really, you're talking about putting on a show and putting on a, a spectacle here in the UAP. Adamson definitely did that against the UPIS Junior Fighting Maroons. And that was a game that if you're looking at the standings and seeing Adamson undefeated, this is one of the, the reasons, uh, a good example why they are undefeated, Renzo. Well, Adamson has been playing a tremendous game, every single game. And in this game, they already had 67 bench points compared to UP0. And Baby Falcons left no room for an upset in a dominant showing versus UPIS. Well, in that last game, there was a lot of players who you can pinpoint to and try to look as the guy that really brought the show and uh, put that whole team together. But it has to be Mark Esperanza, especially in that last outing. 12 points and 8 assists, really setting things up uh, for his team. Yes, definitely. This guy this guy has been really anchoring the offense of Adamson. And he's been doing a good job dictating the tempo for the team. Uh, we'll see how Mark Esperanza continues to dictate that tempo here for Adamson. It's a finals rematch here for our final game day in 2023. And we'll have that for you after the break. And forward number eight, JC Bonsalida. The other forward number 21, Earl Medina. And guard number 24, Jamal Garcia. And center number 25, Vince Reyes. In the other guard number 30, Mark Esperanza. Their head coach is Mark Furman. Officiating this ballgame are crew chief, Fernando Manjala. Umpire one, John Cabiles. In umpire two, Faye Vera. The starting lineups for the Baby Tamaraos. Salang Sang will start alongside Miranda, Kabik King, Gordon, and VJ Pre taking his usual spot at center here for FEU. Meanwhile, the Baby Falcons will be starting Garcia, Esperanza, Medina, Bonzalida, and Vince Reyes at center here for Adamson University. Our officiating trio will be Manala, Cabiles, and Veras. That's the Officiating crew on the floor here, settling, settling things down 
for both squads. And here we go, first quarter action, a season 85 finals rematch between FBU and Adamson. We get an opening possession here for the Baby Falcons. Kobe Dio on the panel, joined by Renzo Subido. And again, Renzo, these are two teams who are firmly in that final four spot as of now, but both teams want more than just a final four spot. They want to get back in the finals. Well, both teams definitely are dominating teams, and in this ball game, uh, it's about who, who wants it more. Both teams are talented, and right now, it's all about how they're going to execute their game plan really well. well for Adamson, also undefeated still it's season 86, and FEU looking to blemish that before we head into the new year. Drive here by Salangsang is no good, and we get a possession for Adamson. Vince Reyes waiting for his teammates, gives it to Esperanza. Esperanza, who had 12 points in their last outing, gives it off now to Medina, firing for three. Can't get that one to drop, and FEU now with the board. Again, that was a good look for, for Adamson, and they've been doing it all game long, uh, executing their plays really well. Well, that time, just unable to get the basket. FEU with the possession, but it's stolen by Justin Garcia. Esperanza. Coach Mike starting. Esperanza and Garcia here in the first quarter. And this is a guard duo that is uh, extremely fun to watch here in season 86, Renzo. Yes, definitely. Like both teams are, all the all the guards in both teams are very talented. And in this ball game, the first five minutes is very crucial. It's gonna dictate the tempo and probably would really win that game. Well, so far, neither team unable to unlock that basket. Gordon trying to get it inside to BJ Pre, and that ball is out of bounds. And that's going to give FEU the ball with nine seconds to shoot here. They kick it out to Miranda. Miranda with five seconds to shoot. Crosses over, pull-up jumper from the free throw line, goes in and out, and Vince Reyes collects the rebound. Again, Miranda with a good move, only not making the shot. Medina now to Reyes. Vince surveying his options, takes it himself, flips it up and in on the inside. That's no good. FEU. We'll bring it down. Miranda leading the way. Miranda with another shot. Gets it to drop and gets the first two points up for FEU. So far, this is a fast-paced ball game. Both teams really trying to execute uh, on the fast-break situation. Uh, Dwayne Miranda having himself a game for FEU in their last outing as Esperanza, meanwhile, for Adamson, answers right back. Yeah, what a move for Esperanza, playing like a Kyrie Irving move and with a one-hander there. Uh, Mark Esperanza has been called a lot of things, a similar Lamello ball play. Now I think that play was a very Kyrie. You are correct here, Renzo. Take a look at this one from Dwayne Miranda. Yeah, there, there you go. Esperanza showing us the move with a one-hander. And right now, in this kind of level, it's very important for you to have that kind of shots. And how important are those, you know, looks and those shots going to be, Renzo, once, you know, these players progress into our seniors division? I mean, it's very, it's going to be very important because they're going to be facing against more talented players, bigger, taller players. Well, that floater going to be useful for him when that day comes. And Justin Garcia, meanwhile, could have been beneficial for Adamson if he made that one. But he'll have a second opportunity. Vince Reyes can't get the three to fall. And FEU with the ball. Gordon gives it off to Pre. Open for three. Bang, bang. Well, so far, you, FEU is really executing their game plan really well, moving the ball, looking for the best possible shot available. 
And that was the best shot they could get in that possession as VJ Pred drills the first jumper, or the first three-pointer rather, for FEU. Esperanza could not answer. And that's going to go to FEU. Again, uh, an open shot for FEU coming, coming off a good execution and extra pass. Now we know the offensive skill set that BJ Pre has on the inside. That outside game is looking very good as well, Renzo. Yes, uh, for a player to have an inside and outside threat is very dangerous. Very, very dangerous and a luxury to have if you're FEU. Meanwhile, Adamson here trying to look for an answer on their, their end. Justin Garcia making his move and getting freed up with a spin. Uh, Garcia using that pick and roll, being patient, looking for that open lane and making that layup. Well, Garcia with his first two points up on the board cuts the lead down to one. Salangsang drawing the foul on Esperanza. And that's going to be the first on Mark. Yeah, Salansang doing a great job attacking the basket strong and fishing that foul. Well, Salansang now will be awarded after drawing that foul as he now is at the free throw line here for FEU to shoot some freebies. Some substitutions for both sides. Before the free throw is made here by Salangsang. And Renzo, it's uh, the final day here of round number one of our eliminations. This, this season has flown by very, very quickly. And we've already seen you know, a lot of talent on display. But what's impressed you the most from Adamson and uh, FEUs uh, throughout the season? You know, what really caught my eye is the evolution of the game now like all the players are not just really talented but they're more athletic taller bigger and faster and you can see right as well our point guards here very lengthy uh to say the least definitely hindi ko maliente minyon pero lengthy pa rin lengthy pa rin lengthy pa rin skill pa rin skills lang skills Adamson on the other end, seeing a lot of skillful prowess from CJ Umali, who drills their first triple. And they are up in the lead here by two. VJ Pre looking to answer. Cannot. FEU recovers. Corner, triple, Salang Sang. Can't get the shooter's bounce. Another try here for FEU. But that's going to be a foul. It'll go on Adamson. FEU be, being the team more aggressive in this opening quarter and as you can see here uh, that was an open three for Adamson making that tough shot on the corner. Uh, CJ Umali not phased by the defender on the other end. First shot attempt was good for him and that gives Adamson the lead. Jedrick Da Missing the first free throw there for FEU. Well, so far, Enzo, FEU missing all of their free throws to start this game. And in this ball game, free throws could be probably the key to winning this game. In the long in, in the end of the game, you gotta make those free throws if you wanna get that lead ahead against your opponent and we've seen time and time again how free throws have been a very important part like you mentioned down the stretch in these games and it's constantly bit teams from behind uh, and stop them from winning these games yes um a lot of teams loses and wins game from free throws well, that time, FEU making their first free throw of the game. One for four here for the Baby Tamaraus. And on the other end, Justin Garcia turning it over for Adamson. And that ball will head right back to FEU. 
Again, some more substitutions for the Baby Tamarounds as Dwayne Miranda will take a seat here. In this ball game, both teams applying excellent pressure. And this game would really, we're going to be talking about who makes more stops in this ball game. Well, Adamson getting a stop right there on their end. Sahili and a foul called away from the ball. That's going to go on FEU. Foul is called on Nico Pascual. So that's going to be his first foul of the game here. Oh, nice inbound play. The alley-oop from Justin Garcia to Vince Reyes. And Adamson has a three-point lead. Yes, that was an excellent knockout play. Kung sabihin mo nga eh, yung mga importante na kailangan mo. Mga two points off a baseline inbound. I'm sure FEU kicking themselves in the back after that one. Cannot get a shot to go on the other end is the baby Damaraus. Adamson looking to extend this lead. Sahili. Sahili draws the foul plus the basket, and that's going to be an and one opportunity for Adamson. Yes, Sahili showing us those moves, those moves, being patient, and as you can see, making that and one basket. Oh, Zahir with some great concentration on that shot. Giving Adamson now a five point lead, Renzo. And maybe one more to come. Yo, what, what amazed me nowadays in, in our brand of basketball, how, how the young, young stars are being really patient when playing the game. And yeah, we've seen a time where the game was extremely fast-paced. Teams running up and down the court, trying to get to the three-point line as fast as they can. And yeah. now, to see it slow down, taking it to the paint more, that must be nice to see. Yeah, players right now being more mature, making better decisions inside the court. Oh, that's, that's just in a, a testament to the, the development here. Here in the juniors division, as Sahili can get that lay in to fall. And FEU now with it. Nico Pascual gets called for the travel, and that's going to be a turnover for FEU. Some substitutions again for the baby Tamaraos as Pascual will now take a seat. Uh, both teams applying full court pressure man to man. Trying to disrupt the flow of their game. 11 to 6 is our score. A five point lead here for Adamson. Carrillo with a bank shot puts it up to seven, and that's going to force FEU into a timeout here. coming out here on a Sunday at the Phil Oil Equal Oil Arena. See all of them in full support and making time here, Renzo, for the final day of uh, our round number one here in boys basketball. 
Yes, this is a must-watch matchup between these two high-caliber teams, especially FEU being the defending champion and Adamson trying to dominate this league in this season. Well, Adamson dominating so far in this one, but FEU finding some life here after that three by EJ Herbito. Again, that was a good execution leading to that open three and a basket from downtown. Herbito making the second triple here for FEU. Adamson cannot answer after that one. And another possession here for the Baby Tamaraus. Caps Caponillas firing for three. That's no good. And Adamson will let that ball trickle out of bounds as it heads their way. Cabonillas, one of the key players for the baby Tamaraus. Yes, and you can see that their coach really gives him a lot of trust, taking open shots and giving him all the confidence he needs in this game. Uh, Cabonillas, one of those players that, that can do a whole lot more than just in the scoring department. As you check out the replay, a foul called on him. Paris doing a big boy move, dishing that foul, and right now opportunity to make a basket from the free throw line. Adam Perez is our guest at the free throw line as he misses that first one. DJ Pre has checked into the game for FEU as Cabonillas draw, drew his uh, second foul already in the game, Renzo. Perez makes the second freebie and puts the lead back up to five. Dre Miller with some struggles with the ball here. Has to get it cross court, but an eight second call on the baby Tamaraus. O'Malley doing a great job pressuring the point guard of FEU and FEU having a hard time taking care of the ball. Well, O'Malley has picked up his... Uh, his defender every opportunity he had and that time getting the stop on FEU yes and that's what you want to see if you're the coach of Adamson you want to see your players pressuring the ball giving giving their all in the defense defensive side meanwhile Adamson drawing a foul on FEU Jedrick Dow gets called for that foul. So that is going to send, well, that brings rather Adamson to the line here. So far, FEU having a tough time containing their man individually. And in this ball game, defense will be key if you want to win the game. Well, Adamson doing a great job at defense so far, Renzo. Already forcing FEU to three turnovers in this game. Oh, what a move. What a lay in there from Jed Da, but he hit the deck extremely hard after that one. A collision there by Da and De Jesus off of the lay in attempt. I see just an awkward fall by. Die and De Jesus. It's good to see both of them up on their feet. Yes, Da showing us his athleticism, going to that paint, driving it strong and taking it strong to the basket and dishing that foul. Well, that's going to send Jed to the free throw line here. As both teams have some time to talk it out, our officials are right, taking a look at that last play to check for any other calls. been reviewed that's going to be De Jesus with the foul Jed Da at the free throw line as he misses the first 
And yes, here in this game, for Adam's son, you can see that there will always be no easy layup. They're going to challenge every basket that FE is going to make. And that's a testament to an undefeated team in the UAP, Renzo, doing it both on offense and especially on defense. Yes, definitely. Adamson, they're 6 0 in the season so far, and you can see they've been really doing a great job offensively and defensively, being consistent, executing the plays, and containing their de hardcore defense. A lot of people have describe this offense and this team as a well-oiled machine and all throughout the season that's exactly what they have showed time and time again so what does feu need to do now to try and stop this uh well-oiled machine that coach mike Furman has uh has ran here with Adamson. Well, FPU needs to be more consistent defensively and offensively. They gotta be more patient in executing the game plan and just gonna make better decisions offensively and defensively. Well, that time, FPU unable to get a basket. Sahili with the ball here for Adamson gets it to Umali. Baby Falcons have a six point lead here. As we wind down the clock here in the first quarter, they kick it out to Jesus. He fires for three. That hits air. And that's going to be FEU's ball with 14.4 on the game clock. That was a great stop by FEU. Trying to hold their ground, not trying to reach in, and forcing Adamson to make a four shot. 10 seconds to go here for FEU, but they turn it over as Miller gave it up to VJ Prey, who was still in the backcourt. And that is a clear turnover for FEU. And it sends the ball back to Adamson with 7.6 on the game clock. That's Adamson doing a great job defensively making FEU commit four turnovers already and Adamson doing a great job taking care of the ball with only one turnover in the ball game. Justin Garcia will give it up. De Jesus shot clock turned off and that's gonna be the end of the first quarter. Well Adamson continuing to show how an undefeated team in the UAP needs to play, and they have shown it right and well here in the first quarter, Renzo. FPU still looking for some answers. Yeah, both teams definitely showing what what they're made of, what they've been preparing for all week long for this ball game. And right now, Adamson just showing the caliber that they are, and right now is paying off with them leading by six points already seven players in the scoring department for adamson they lead it 16 to 10 after the first we'll be back with the second in a bit Here in the second quarter, where the Adamson Baby Falcons have a 16 to 10 lead against the FEU Baby Tamaraos. Well, FEU just looking very out of sync, Renzo. You mentioned that defense was going to be a key for any of these teams to try and pull away with a victory here. And so far, Adamson has been that team on the defensive end, and it's gotten a little bit into FEU's head as they have just really looked um, out of place here. Uh, in this game well as you can see here in this ball game Adamson is just showing how poised they are entering this ball game and FU is 
just really having a hard time handling the pressure being applied by Adamson. Well, we mentioned it earlier, seven players have already chipped in and clocked in their name in the scoring department for Adamson. FEU, meanwhile, only four players so far. Jedda gets uh, commits the turnover there, and that's going to be Adamson's ball here. Sixteen to ten, ball in the hands of Mark Esperanza. Vince Reyes drives, spins, jumper is good for Vince Reyes. Uh, Reyes doing a half spin move, making that basket. Justin Garcia taking it all the way, misses that shot for Adamson. And Dwayne Miranda leading the break here for FEU. Jetta will reset for the Baby Tamaraus. Pre to Miranda. Miranda stops, pops, but a foul is called on the floor. You can see there, the Reyes really showing us those moves, being patient inside the paint, doing a half spin and a turnaround jumper. Well, you talked about how these guys are much more. That, is, that seems like a veteran move, Renzo. It is, it is. And not all players in this level could really do that. Well, a great possession that time by Vince Reyes. Gives Adamson an eight-point lead here in the second quarter. Free throw line jumper, no good that time. FEU collects the rebound. Miranda. FEU looking to buy some momentum here in the second quarter. Miranda gets it to Pre. DJ Pre drives, steps through inside, and gets it up and in. Red maximizing that length that he has, Go, doing a step through and a layup going to his left. Nice move by DJ Pre, cutting the lead down to six now for FEU. Ball back in the hands of Vince Reyes. That fadeaway J no good that time, and Dwayne Miranda back with the ball. Miranda going all the way. Miranda can't get the scoop. And Adamson has it. Esperanza avoiding the defender. Reyes loses the ball. And that ball was tipped out by FEU, so it'll stay with Adamson. Well, that was great transition defense by FEU running back to the paint. And here's DJ Pratt just showing the moves going to his left. Pratt faking out his defender on, the, on that one. Sweet move for FEU as uh, on the other end we get a foul called on the baby Tamaraus. Oh there, that was a good execution and FEU not being able to control those boards and Adamson just maximizing their length and their athleticism. Well what about Vince Reyes in this one, Renzo, off of one possession, two offensive rebounds already, and leading him to the free throw line here. And you could, you can teach that, the aggressiveness, the willingness to really get that rebound. Not everyone could really do that. Now you're talking about, again, maturity here. Vince Reyes looking one of the like one of the most mature players on the floor right now for Adamson. Miranda kicks it out. Three-pointer on the way. That's no good for FEU. That was still a good look for FEU coming off a pick and roll and an extra pass for an open shot. Just couldn't convert the play. Justin Garcia for Adamson. Garcia getting freed up and lays it up and in. Uh, ito si Garcia, magaling talaga to eh. Sneaky, sneaky gumalaw. And I, I, like, I like how he plays. Very, very athletic as well. Uh, something that is very rare in uh, the point guard departments in oh. the UAP. Parang 
nakikita ko yung sarili ko sa nila. <laughs> uh, I, I could see yung mga during your juniors uh, time, before you were uh, hitting shots from Espanya, you were hitting a lot of acrobatic layups. Yeah, uh, yes, yes. Oh, meanwhile, both teams going back and forth here. Gordon on one end for FEU and on the other end, a three-pointer for Adamson. Check out this move again by Justin Garcia. That was a good read by Garcia. Trying to drive to the baseline, getting the layup. And a quick answer by FEU. Oh, that was Gordon on the other end. Then FEU, oh, Adamson rather, getting a three-pointer right back courtesy of Earl Medina. It's a nine-point lead here for Adamson. Medina inside, gives it up. Adamson getting another basket, and that time coming at the hands here of Jiri Tumaneng. So far in this ball game, everything going for going well for Adamson, making every basket in every possession. And meanwhile, FEU just unable to find the gaps here in the defense of Adamson. And just like that, Renzo, a 13-point lead for the Baby Falcons here in the second quarter. Well, Adamson is doing a great job being consistent on making those defensive stops and executing on the other end. Garcia throws it inside to Sahili, and Zahir gets freed up. And Garcia throws up the glasses and puts Adamson up by 15 here. Uh, Garcia... Showing us that the eyesight that he has, throwing the Twenty-nine to fourteen is their score here. A fifteen-point lead for Adamson. And again, Renzo, the pace, the offense, the defense, everything being controlled here by the Baby Falcons in the first half. Yes, so far Adamson doing a great job applying that pressure defense, making FEU commit seven turnovers already. Well, you talked about the decision making for these two teams going to be integral for them as this game progresses and so far Adamson making all the right choices in front of FEU Esperanza kicks it out to Zahiri and Zahir gets called for steps Zahiri wasn't able wasn't really able to plan his feet before doing that, rip through, committing a turnover. And that's only the fourth turnover for Adamson in this game. So doing a better job at taking the ball as well uh, versus FEU, like you mentioned. Cabonillas drives, gets into the paint, lays it in, and stops the bleeding momentarily for FEU. And that's what you want to see from FEU side, trying to be patient, executing those pick and roll plays properly. Ball back in the hands of Sahili. Gets the handoff to Umadi and a foul called. That's going to go on Dwayne Miranda. Yeah, 
there. That, that was a good read for FEU, right? Taking it strong to the basket from a pick and roll. Oh, Cabonillas finding a very rare gap in that Adamson defense to cut it down to 13. Justin Garcia cannot get that shot to fall. And Miranda with it. FEU looking for some momentum here. Cabonillas drives left. Cabonillas kisses it off the glass and cuts the lead down to 11. Uh, showing us the length, maximizing it, taking it far to the basket. Well, after taking some time on the bench after those two early fouls, Cabonillas already with four quick points here in the second quarter. Miranda stops, fakes, puts it up, puts it, in, uh, gets it inside to Gordon. And just like that, the lead is cut down to single digits. FE doing a better job on the offensive side, executing plays and getting open shots. Ball is loose. FEU gets another turnover here. Gordon trying to go all the way. Will reset here with 16 on the shot clock. Ball in the hands of Jed Da. Miranda off the screen from Gordon. Miranda finding its way inside. Almost made it in. And there's going to be a foul on Adamson. Here is that play by Caps Cabonillas. And right back on the inside, Miranda finding Gordon. What a what a move from uh, Miranda to fake his defender, but what a find as well to the wide open Gordon. FEU doing a better job playing as a team in two consecutive plays already, making those extra passes and getting those best available baskets. Just like that, Renzo. FEU finding some momentum and showing a lot of signs of life as they've stringed together a good couple of runs here to cut the lead. Now down to eight. Uh, Adamson cannot be complacent in this ball game. FEU is the defending champion for a reason. And th their core is still very much intact from that championship season as Adamson will take a break here. They're still up by seven. We're back in the ball game. Our fans are up here and uh, in attendance on this Sunday afternoon to witness the final game day of round number one here, Renzo. Uh, this uh, must-watch ball game, and there's no Sundays for Filipinos who's really into basketball. Uh, it is the perfect day to close out round number one as the ball almost found its way right back to you. Maybe there's some, some signs, uh, Renzo, to, to head back on the court sometime. Pwede. Pasok na ako ngayon. May one year ka pa yata eh. May one year pa. Parang pwede ka pa yata eh. Pwede pa naman. Mukhang bata naman ako eh. Mukhang high school. Dinump up naman nila yung age gap eh. Hindi kaabot ka pa eh. DJ Pre. Can't get the shot that time for FEU. 
but the baby Tamarows have another possession here. It has been a very different second quarter for the baby Tamarows. Dre Miller can get that three to fall. And Adamson will bring it down. Vince Reyes fakes, kicks it out. Tumaning with another shot fake. Tumaning going all the way and just uses the height and the strength to power that one through. Great patience. He already had the open shot, but decided to take it strong to the basket for an easier two points. Lead right back up to eight, but cut down very quickly to six as Caleb Scabonilias has really found his footing here in the second quarter. Uh, he's been a good player in this second quarter trying to lead the FEU team. Umali with a shot no. FEU with another chance here. Jeda loses that one. Umali comes up with it. Vince Reyes with the ball. Fakes puts it up. Shot will not go for him. And FEU running it right back. Cabonillas all the way, drawing the foul. Met at the rim. But that's going to be a foul on Earl Medina. Yeah, so far it's been a fast-paced ball game for both teams. It's not giving each other an inch to even breathe and make open shots. Well, this has really been the quarter for Cabs Cabonillas, who earlier in the game, Renzo, foul trouble for him, but not phased by it coming out here in the second quarter and putting up six points with a few more to come. Yeah, you can see the confidence in that kid and he's been doing a great job in this ball game so far. A lot of fresh legs and young legs on this uh, FEU team. Cabonillas though, missing the first freebie there. Well, Cabonillas with six points here in the game. Makes the second seven points now for him to go along with three rebounds. And he will take a much needed breather here for FEU. So far, both teams having a well-balanced scoring, getting output for, from everyone. Well, FEU here has fought their way back to a lead that Adamson started the quarter with. It's a six-point lead for the Baby Falcons. Thirty-one to twenty-five is our score here. Under a minute to go in the second quarter, and another foul called. This time it's going to go on Sanang Sam. FEU being the more aggressive team in this quarter that helps them catch up in this ball game. Well, again, it's been a tale of two quarters so far for this baby Tamarouse team. Adamson, meanwhile, looking to find or regain the momentum they had in the first quarter. Earl Medina with a fadeaway jumper and gets that one to fall. Medina having the experience, being patient to even manufacture a shot like that. Uh, he is now up to five points in this game. Corner triple for FEU, no good there. VJ Pre with an offensive rebound plus the basket. Pre is doing a great job getting that offensive rebound and getting that Two points for FEU. Esperanza kicking it out. Final shot here for Adamson as the game clock expires. And that's going to be the end of the second quarter. Well, it was all Adamson after that first one. Controlling the pace, controlling the tempo. Here in the second, 
FBU finding some answers, but still down by six here in the second quarter, Renzo. Break down what happened in uh, that second quarter. Uh, Adamson just doing a great job applying their game plan offensively and executing those plays, looking for the best possible shot for the open man, making those extra passes. And FEU just still trying to look for an open shot. Well, they have fought their way back here. They were down by as many as 15. It's now a six-point gap between FEU and Adamson. We'll have the second half for you after the break.
Cooper here at halftime between the Adamson Baby Falcons and the FEU Baby Tamaraus. 33 to 27 is our score after the first two quarters of play. Adamson with a six point lead here in halftime, Renzo. And they have really taken control in that first quarter, but FEU finding some answers in that second quarter. But what stands out for you from our halftime stats so far? Uh, right now, Adamson doing a good job converting those points off turnovers and the bench points are basically in in match with 16 points for Adamson and 12 points for FEU. Oh, the free throws, uh, you can see the free throws and the field goal still uh, going on Adamson's way. So just a little bit more efficient from the field and the free throw line are the Baby Falcons. But after that second quarter, it was really where FBU fought their way back and tr and trying to carry that here in uh, the, the second half, Renzo. So how important is it going to be for FBU to rely on guys like VJ Prey as they try to get back into this game? Uh, both teams are really focusing on, on the small details of the ball game, making those stops, getting those intangibles, those rebounds and loose balls, getting extra possession for their teams. Uh, meanwhile, for Adamson, they have seen production from Vince Reyes and Earl Medina uh, as well. And they have continued to keep Adamson up in front here and with a comfortable margin as we head into the third quarter. Uh, both teams are doing a great job attacking its balance. Lead. Both teams, Adamson and FU, really doing a tremendous job. Well, you can see the leading scorers from both sides, Pre, Cabonillas, and Miranda lead the way for FEU. Meanwhile, Adamson is being led by Reyes, Medina, and Garcia. So that's the trio leading the way here for both squads. And here we go, third quarter action coming your way here. Again, this is a finals rematch between FEU and Adamson. Kobe Dayo here on the panel joined by Renzo Subido. If you're just joining us for today, this is our third game of our final round or final game day of the first round. And they still have mo one more highly anticipated game coming up in the day. But before that, things need to be settled between these two squads, Renzo. Yes, for sure. These two teams want to end the first round on a high note, getting that W entering the second round. And they have showed some lot of prowess here so far. And FBU cutting the lead now down to four after that shot by Stephen, Stephen Kabikting. Uh, FBU continuing where they left off from the first half, converting that basket. Earl Medina can't get that three to fall. And FEU will run. Miranda to pray. Ball right back in the hands of Miranda, but he gives it up to Gordon. Miranda, step back three. That's short. And Garcia loses it. VJ Pre with the ball. And VJ Pre powering his way, but that's going to be an offensive foul drawn by Justin Garcia. Both teams not giving each other an inch. Playing really hard defensively and offensively. Oh, Garcia sacrificing his body there to draw the charge. And that's going to give Adamson a possession here. Medina, corner three. No go. And Bonsalida bounced it off of the foot of FEU. And that's going to be Adamson's ball here. Esperanza to inbound. Adamson with eight seconds to shoot. Reyes with a jumper, no. Battle for the rebound, it's won here. Well, possession is won, rather, by Adamson, and they'll have 14 on the shot clock. Uh, Reyes has been getting that open shot, just couldn't convert on those jumpers. Reyes now two for nine from the field. Not the best shooting display from Vince Reyes in this one. Well, you can see the confidence that his coaches are giving him to keep 
shooting that ball when you're open. Well, Adamson still in front here by four. FEU trying to buy a basket, and they do, courtesy of Gordon, and that's going to cut the lead down to two. Well, that was a good read by Gordon, ripping through, going hard to the basket towards his right. FEU within striking distance, but Bonzalida keeping the distance as he drains it from the distance. Three-pointer on the way. No good that time by FEU. Gordon gets an offensive rebound, and they will reset here. Yes, good decision by Gordon to set up the play and get a better shot. Kobe King inside to Pre, and Pre puts it up. But Justin Garcia is down on the floor here. Holding on to that right foot. Well, might have tweaked it a little bit, trying to battle for the rebound there with Prey. Mikey Tamay and toughness from that kid, Garcia. Not a pillow shot, pero kinapajak lang niya, laban ulit. Sinikipan lang yung, yung sapatos, eh. That was oh. on, on he goes, on he goes. Uh, Justin Garcia, you can see on the bench, still nursing that right foot. So he will take a break here. His squad still up by three. Adamson, Sahili open for three and gets it to go. Uh, this is a very dangerous Adamson team. Anyone could just blow up any time in, any time in the ball game. And just like that, they are back up to six here. Gordon gets called for the travel, and that's going to be a turnover for FEU. Oh, there you can see a good read, a fake handoff, and taking that open shot from way downtown. Oh, Z Zaire Sahili drilling the fourth triple for Adamson. And they get another basket courtesy of Sahili on the other end. Wow, what an acrobatic shot, showing that athleticism. And that puts Adamson back up to eight here. Ray Miranda to Gordon. Gordon with a free throw line jumper can get that one fall. Mark Esperanza pushing the pace. Zahili. Almost losing it, gets it off to Carillo, open for three, no go. Esperanza with a find to Bonzalida, but VJ Pre collects the rebound for FEU. Well, Adamson just showing the aggressiveness defensively after that missed basket. Heading right back on defense were the Baby Falcons. A foul is called on the pass. Substitutions coming the way here for FEU. Jedda, Cavs Cabonillas, and Dre Miller checks in. And that's going to send Kabik King, Gordon, and Miranda to the bench here as FEU with possession. Three pointer on the way for them, no good. Cabonillas trying to battle for the rebound, but that ball. Trickles out of bounds and it'll head to Adamson. Uh, that was an open corner three point shot. Just not being able to convert it for FEU. And both teams getting some quality looks here, Renzo. Just unable to calibrate on those shots. Well, here you can see how competitive these two teams are. Really doing their best to make it hard for their opponent. Well, the defense has definitely picked up here in the third quarter, more than it already was in uh, the first half. As you see there, Sahili just stepping out of bounds off of that play. And that sends the ball to FEU, and they have possession here. 
CJ Pre making his move. Pre over two defenders. Umali, no, Bonzalida has the rebound here for Adamson. Oh, Esperanza doing a great job controlling the, the pace of the game. Oh, Esperanza finding his teammates. They kick it out. Eight seconds to shoot here for the Baby Falcons. Bonzalida with a jumper, no, gets his own offensive rebound. Dre Miller bothering that, and Umali gets fouled by Jedrick Da. Uh, you can see that intercept by Dre Miller. Umali getting hit with a right arm there from uh, Jedrick Da. And that's what the officials are taking a look at. Well, O'Malley getting hit, but uh, seems to be A-OK -okay after that one. Yeah, in this ball game, so far, Pre and Sahili having a showdown, having nine points apiece. Well, Sahili has... If it was Cabs Cabonillas for FEU in that second quarter who came alive here in the third, Sahili has really shown his prowess here, Renzo. For, uh, for Adamson. Yes, Sh shooting a high percentage with 66% field goals. Really, really taking everything that the defense has just given him. And again, to your point, shooting a very high percentage from the field. Forty-one, thirty-three is our score here. FEU brought it to within two here in the third quarter but have given up a good amount of points since then and gives up another basket there courtesy of JC Bonzalida who puts the lead back up to double digits. Oh, that pick and roll has been really deadly for Adamson. This has been their bread and butter in, their, in this game being patient, setting the, a good screen and an open shot. Trey Miller inside to Cabonillas who lays it up and in. Uh, Cabonillo being at the right spot at the right time, getting that two points for FEU. Cuts the lead down to eight. Carillo to Bonzalida. Handoff to Umali. Umali with a jumper and calls back on that one. Ay, pagka veteran move yung Umali na yun, ah. Eh, was, kanina pa natin sinasabi na Sobrang mature na nitong mga players na to. That was as mature as it gets, Renzo, when you kiss it off the glass like that one. Yeah, um, not not making the game too complicated. One dribble pull up using the board. This game has always been about buckets. That's what they say. And Caps Cabonillas gets another bucket there in this one. Yes, both teams playing basic basketball. Carillo spins. Carillo loses the ball. And FEU is pushing. Jetta going all the way. Floater in the lane, no good. Battle for the rebound. It's one here by FEU. And up and in, plus the foul. That's going to be an and one opportunity for Mark Borgos. Oh, Borgos really doing his best to get that offensive rebound. And Powering his way off and getting that end one basket. Great awareness from Burgos to grab that offensive rebound. And now he's going to be sent to the line for a bonus free throw here for FEU. A chance to cut it to within five. Burgos cannot complete the three point opportunity, and Adamson gets the rebound here. 45 to 39. Jesus to Umali. Umali looking for his teammates. Gets it inside to Reyes. Reyes, his shot is bothered. Three seconds to shoot for Adamson. A miss again there for the Baby Falcons. Leads to a Dwayne Miranda fast break. Inside to Burgos. And again, Burgos is fouled. Oh, nope. It's going to be a... 
a travel called on Mark Burgos. Oh, that's what you want to see from the FEU side, making that extra passes to the open man. And that was a good pass by Miranda. Just couldn't make the basket. Well, FEU still down by six here. Justin Garcia looking to add to the lead. Garcia going all the way. Cannot get it to fall. Miller here for FEU. Under two minutes to go here in the third quarter. Cabonillas to Miranda. Dwayne with eyes on the shot clock. Miranda loses it. Vince Reyes kicks it up to Garcia. Garcia going all the way. Left-handed finish is good for Justin Garcia. That was a good fast break opportunity for Garcia and Adamson. Parang hindi na injured, no? Parang hindi na tapelo. Normal lang. Sabi mo nga, Renzo, shook it off, pinagpag lang eh. Pagpag lang. 47-39, Dre Miller with the miss. Jeddah cannot complete the offensive tip-in. But that ball will stay with FEU after the battle there between Reyes and Burgos. Both teams very active on those offensive rebounds. 12 in the game for FEU. And Adamson with seven offensive boards here in the game. Cheda, corner three. That's short. It's Reyes with the ball. Oh, Adamson doing a great job being patient to just stay in front of FEU players trying to get those stops. 47-39. Eight seconds to shoot here for Adamson. Oh, what a move. What a shot, but could not connect there was Umali. And FEU now with it. FEU with possession. Trying to end the quarter on a high note. Dre Miller gets freed up, misses the shot. Ball finds its way right back to him. Another miss for FEU and Adamson with a chance here at the final shot of the quarter. Justin Garcia with a pull-up jumper, no. And FEU could not handle the rebound. And that's going to be the end of the third quarter. So both teams very close here in the third quarter, Renzo. Almost even scoring for them, but it was Adamson who is still in front here by eight. Break down what happened in that third quarter. Yes, Adamson just doing a better job executing those plays after a stop. And FEU just still really trying to get their groove in this ball game. Well, Adamson with a comfortable eight-point cushion as we head into the final quarter of play. Fourth quarter, we'll have it for you when we return. match from season 85 and they have been getting some high intensity fast-paced basketball here at Enzo in the field Phil Oil Eco Eco Oil Center and there's still one more game to go uh, we have one more quarter in this one between FEU and Adamson fourth quarter play here but First and foremost, Renzo, break down what happened here throughout the game as you check out our quarter scoring. Both teams right now, they've been really trying to 
get that consistency, trying to get that tempo. Uh, but in this ball game, Adamson just doing a better job than FEU. But right now, you can see FEU is still doing their best to get back in this ball game. Well, the FEU, like you mentioned, having some struggles here to buy momentum and go on a run, similar to what they saw in the third quarter. But you check out the replay from Justin Garcia, who earlier in the game tweaked his foot, his, his foot area. Seems like he didn't have that trouble uh, at all here, Renzo. Uh, if FU wants to win this game, they're gonna have to find solutions on how to stop Garcia and Esperanza for Adamson, who's been really doing a great job spearheading the off offensive side of Adamson. Well, for FEU, Cab Caps Cabanillas has been their go-to guy so far, leading the way with 11 for the baby Tamaraos. But the baby Falcons have seen production all around. Justin Garcia with a fake handoff, gets into the lane, spins, kicks it out. Corner triple for Umali is no good. Zaire, the Jesus for three, puts it in. And Adamson trilling their fifth triple of the game here. He saw the fake from Sahili kicking. Alas, watching the ball game. Well, Coach, along with uh, the rest of our fans here, getting treated to some very poised basketball from, from our juniors division. And so far, it's been Adamson all in front here against FEU. As we are in the final 10 minutes of play, in this game. Dwayne Miranda puts it up. Three-pointer gets it to fall. And cuts the lead down to 10. Adamson switching to a zone defense. And Miranda, great recognizing that they were playing zone and took an open three. Good advantage taken care of there by FEU, but they still need to find some answers for Zahir Sahili, who drills his 11th point now of the game. FEU having a hard time making stops. Salangsang gets it to Da. Jed using the screen. Corner three for FEU. That shot is no good. Justin Garcia has it. Garcia pulls up for three. Can't get that one to fall. And Garcia, a rebound. Garcia slowing the pace and making a decision to take that open shot at, with FEU going under the ball screen. FEU looking to go on a run here in the final quarter of play. Garcia with another rebound. That's going to be his fourth now of the game. 
three-pointer. And that is good again for Adamson as De Jesus drills their sixth triple from downtown. Uh, Adamson doing a great job making stops with their zone defense and just ex executing on the other end offensively, getting those open shots. Miranda trying to answer, cannot. Ball finds its way to Burgos, who puts it up and in. 13-point lead here for the Baby Falcons. Garcia, he has eight in the game for Adamson. Umali fakes the three. Ball is poked by Miranda, but it's back here with Vince Reyes. Reyes with a step back, no. And FEU comes up with it. Salamsang open, gets it to Miranda, and he will reset here. Back and forth here between Miranda and Salamsang. Jeddah taking it all the way, puts it up, no. Ball is battered at around but it's it found its way to Adamson yeah FU having a hard time dealing with that zone defense by Adamson meanwhile Justin Garcia having no problems whatsoever getting to the rim here for the baby Falcons uh, as, as the player he is he's good with maneuvering and making a way to make those baskets Garcia with 10 in the game for Adamson Dwayne Miranda, three-pointer, that's no good. And VJ Prey trying to grab the offensive board, but that's gonna go to Adamson. You can see, you can see the misdirection there by Garcia, attacking strong to his left and making that basket. And again, just doesn't seem like he was bothered whatsoever after that that uh, that sequence where he was holding on to his foot. Justin Garcia having himself a game here with 10 points to go along with two steals, four assists, and five rebounds. Jeddah has that ball stolen by Earl Medina. And Adamson with another possession. Mark Esperanza trying to settle things down here. Esperanza with a handoff, but a travel called on Adamson. Uh, this is what's tough about this Adamson team, Be having Esperanza and Garcia, who can really lead the team as a leader. Dre Miller has it for FEU. Throwing it inside to VJ Pre. VJ Pre with a nice move and banks it home for two. Uh, Pre showing us those moves inside the paint, dominating, showing us some big boy moves. Well, we know how mature of a player VJ Pre is, and he's shown it right there in that possession. As you check out the replay, Renzo. Oh, there, powering his. Powering yourself inside and getting that back shot. DJ well, Prey, another quality game for FEU. But I'm sure he'd much rather have the lead here. Still some time now for FEU to fight their way back here. But what do they start? What do they need to start doing, Renzo? to try and trim down this lead. All oh, right, now they just have to have the urgency to make more stops, be consistent on the offensive side as well. Well, that time it was Adamson who got the stop on the baby Tamaraus. They have a 13-point lead here. Final four minutes of play. Vince Reyes. Gets it to Esperanza. Five seconds to shoot. Esperanza going all the way. Tough shot. Bonzalida with an offensive board. And Adamson will reset here. Vince Reyes drives, fakes, spins, kicks it out. Two seconds to shoot. Esperanza gets it off in time and floats it in for the deuce. Jeddah 
on the other end, responding quickly for FEU. As both teams so far on those two consecutive plays, making baskets. Uh, Mark Esperanza. I'm still not getting over how he hit us with that fadeaway floater for the two on the other end. Yeah, uh, with Esperanza, you can see the presence of mind knowing the shot clock is about to expire and just taking that shot confidently. Meanwhile, Carrillo hits another three for Adamson. That's their seventh of the game here. Cabonillas on the inside to the cutting Miranda. Dwayne with a nice finger roll lay-in for two. Uh, that was a smooth layup by Miranda. Well, time is ticking if you're the baby Tamaraus. Dre Miller gets the stop and gets another two for FEU. That's what you want to see from the FEU side, applying the pressure, making it hard for Adamson to set their place. Still a 12-point lead here for Adamson, and they are trying to milk the clock as much as they can. Carillo asking for the setup. Two seconds to shoot. That shot is short. Jeddah trying to push the pace. Miller to Cabonillas. No reset. Jeddah and he gets called for the travel. Oh, that be too quick on executing the move. Not being able to stabilize his feet first, committing a turnover. And that's the 14th turnover of the game here, Renzo, for FEU. Adamson has been able to convert 11 points out of those 14 turnovers. And very crucial points here in uh, the latter stages of the game. Uh, and that's what Adamson has been doing all, all game, all game long, being consistent. Applying pressure, making defensive stops, and executing on the other end. Well, we mentioned it in the pregame how this Adamson team just looks like a very fine tuned machine, a team that knows their strengths and weaknesses, and they have really shown it here against the defending champions. Uh, definitely, you can see the cohesiveness of the team, their chemistry. Kahit nakapikit yung mata nung may hawak ng bola, alam niya, andiyan yung teammate niya. So you can see this replay from Earl Medina, a three-pointer for him. That's the eighth triple for the Baby Falcons. Father Aldrin Suan of Adamson in attendance here. Watching his team with a very comfortable 15-point lead here. Oh, and a hard fall by Bonzalida, but right back up on his feet after that one. Yeah, Adamson showing us an excellent job on sharing the basketball, playing as a team, having 20 assists total compared to FEU's 11 assists. And again, that, that just shows what we were talking about earlier, just how poised and connected this whole team is and they're a minute away from going 7-0 in the first round how good is that going to feel as a player Renzo heading into the break uh, the new year break and then going into the second round undefeated unblemished with a 7-0 record well it's a very challenging part for Adamson to maintain that consistency and it says a lot about the program that coach Fermin is implementing and the discipline the consistency is there uh, last season finishing second to this team who they are seconds away from uh, defeating going second place uh, from uh, FBU that was must have been really tough for Adamson but now here in uh, season 86, it's a very different season, very different circumstances as well for this squad from Mendiola. And they are now 
uh, a bit, uh, seconds away from their seventh straight victory here in season 86. And FEU will let the clock expire as Miranda hits a three. And that's going to do it as time expires. That's going to be the seventh straight victory for Adamson. And their final victory here in the first round, going 7-0 to end it. An 11-point win here for the Baby Falcons at the expense of the defending champions. Our big score reads 68-57. And it was a well-tuned scoring and just overall showing for Adams in here, Renzo, to come home with a victory against uh, the FEU Baby Tamaraos. Yeah, you can see there in this ball game, Adamson just being consistent from the from the get go up to the last buzzer, playing hard defensively and offensively, trying to uh, trying to do the game plan by Coach Freeman. Well, in that there was a moment there in the game where FEU was trying to uh, battle their way into the game, but it was Zahir Sahili who really had a strong outing for Adamson to keep FEU at bay and give them a comfortable cushion to end this one. He's our player of the game with 11 points and four rebounds here. And some very efficient shooting from Zahir. We still have one more game on our slate today. It is a rivalry day to end round number one here of our boys basketball tournament. The De La Salzabel Junior Archers going up against the Ateneo Blue Eagles. That's coming right up for you when we return. On behalf of my partner, uh, Renzo Subido will be back with more UAP boys basketball action in a bit.